All right, so we're going to cover the top 10 affiliate networks for beginners here. Now, this is for beginners because these are going to be networks that basically have a number of different products on them and realistically have a bunch of quality products and quality companies that you can recommend and pull from, okay? So we're going to cover them all in here in a second, but what I want to touch on is start with these, okay? and then branch out to other more specific affiliate programs for your niche and products that you might want to potentially recommend. We're gonna cover how to potentially find better products and how to find potential um, affiliate programs, um, as well as you know a, the different approach and strategy with that in a, in a coming lecture. So it's okay if you don't understand what I mean by that or how to go about doing that with the process. You might be thinking like, okay, like I can join all these, but like how do I know of other programs or other products that I can recommend within my niche? right? That's one of the most common questions that I get, okay? But we're going to cover that in future lectures, so don't worry about that. Right now, I would just recommend that these are the top 10 affiliate networks that you should join if you're a beginner, okay? And obviously, I recommend joining niche-specific ones, so not this one once you start getting going, because those niche-specific ones uh, will pay higher, and you'll have more success and higher conversion rates with them, and you'll start to build a better, you know, affiliate marketing business with content if you do that, okay? What I'd recommend for all uh, 10 of these, and there are plenty of them, these are just my opinion on the top 10 out there currently, is apply to all these and join all of these, okay? The, the, the benefit of networks like this is that they have a number of different products on them that you can draw from, that you can pull from, that you know pretty much comes up with like anything that you want to recommend, you can pretty much find on one of these, if not all of these, okay? So we'll kind of briefly touch on all of these, but like I said, apply to all these and join them all. It's definitely something that you should be doing in the beginning to get your start, get you know started and get your feet wet with this business model a little bit. But then obviously, once you kind of get you know, going with it, once you get better at it, once you're looking for higher paying affiliate programs and affiliate commissions, then you want to branch out. But this should always be your base, right? This is always like the foundation of your building as like a metaphor, right? So I even still use links from these even today, okay? So you don't don't sleep on these. Um, in the next lecture, we're gonna talk about specifically why I don't necessarily recommend that you stay with these, right? And that's actually a question that I asked or I answered, excuse me, in the Ask Brian section of this course. So I don't recommend that you just kind of settle for these. It's something that you're gonna wanna branch out from eventually, but these are a great starting point, okay? So Amazon Associates is a great one. You can find pretty much anything on Amazon and any Amazon product. You can grab the URL. You can go to Amazon Associates, sign up for all of these, and anybody can sign up for all of these. And then go to sign up for Amazon Associates, which is Amazon's affiliate program. Um, paste that link or paste the ASIN, which is just the product identifier on Amazon uh, that you can basically find or literally search for that product within Amazon Associates and you can find it, right? So anything on Amazon, you can get an affiliate link for through Amazon Associates. Anybody can join and then you can make money that way, okay? Now, one of the benefits of Amazon and you know some of these other ones are the cookie period and the broad array of uh, you know products that you can pull from. So obviously the broad array of products on Amazon is self-explanatory. You can find millions and millions and millions of products, pretty much anything. But the cookie period basically states that if your cookie period, we're gonna use the example of 30 days, but I'm not sure because Amazon does change their policy depending on when you actually watch this. So sometimes it's like 14 days, sometimes it's 30 days. They constantly change it, but we're gonna use the example of 30 days here, okay? So with a cookie period on any one of these, and they all have cookie periods, just read the terms of service and the settings of you know what your actual you know settings are as an affiliate once you sign up, it's easy to find. But let's just assume that you have a 30 day cookie period with Amazon Associates, right? So what that basically means is if you pull a product from Amazon Associates and you grab that link and you're planning on creating a video and recommending that product in your YouTube video, right? If somebody clicks that link and goes through your link to Amazon, even if they don't purchase the product that you recommended, your cookie period starts, right? So let's say the cookie period is 30 days, and then you have 30 days on that person's, uh, you know, assuming that they don't clear their cache on their browser, 30 days for them to actually purchase a product on Amazon, and then you would get a commission for that. So that is so, so powerful because if even if they don't purchase the product that you recommend, but you get them to click your link and you don't want to be like facetious and like disingenuous about what you're recommending, right? So you're not just trying to get them to click a link so that you can start the cookie period. That's the wrong approach. But just understand that one of the benefits of something like Amazon Associates and a number of these is that once you do actually get them to click the link, 
then the cookie period starts. So even if they don't ever purchase the product that you recommended, but they come back, you know, four days later and purchase something completely different, you're going to get an affiliate commission for what they do purchase. Okay. And that is so, so powerful because so many people purchase on Amazon nowadays. I think there's over 150 million prime customers now. So everybody purchases on Amazon. It's growing. It's, it's like, it's like the go-to e-commerce platform. So that is super powerful. Okay. And now just to kind of touch on other ones that are very, very similar. Obviously Amazon associates is what I'd recommend that you build from. It's the best one out of all of these, but Walmart's affiliate program is also very, very good. You can pretty much find anything on Walmart as well. It's Amazon's direct competitor to skip down a little bit. eBay has one as well. So pretty much anything you can find on eBay, you can, join eBay's affiliate program. It's called the eBay Partner Network. We're going to jump up to the CJ affiliate here in a second, but it's important to understand that like I didn't need to link these. These are literally if you just you know grab Amazon Associates and you search that on Google or you grab Rakuten Advertising and you search that on Google, you'll be able to find what those programs are. They're, that's exactly what they're called. Okay. So Amazon Associates, Walmart's affiliate program, eBay's partner network, all great places where you can draw from the top e-commerce websites in the world, grab any of their products, recommend them, get a link for it, and then get a commission if you drive a sale and recommend that person. Okay. CJ affiliate or commission junction is what it used to be called, um, is another great place. Now, CJ Affiliate is kind of like a house, so to speak, for a bunch of different companies that are highly reputable. So you can pretty much go there. Once you join CJ Affiliate, then you can see what companies are on CJ Affiliate's website and then apply to actually join those. Okay. So there's a number of of uh, companies that I actually recommend with CJ Affiliate, and you'll be able to see that once you kind of join. But just understand that, that this is just kind of like a website that houses a bunch of affiliate programs for reputable companies. So it's a very, very valuable place to join. And another great place where you can actually find more specific and niche specific affiliate programs like we'll talk about in the future, okay? Rakuten Advertising. Rakuten is also a, a growing up and coming uh, e-commerce platform and website. It's huge in Japan. It's getting bigger in the US and across the rest of the world. Um, so join that. That's another great place. ClickBank is one that we're all going to recommend or all going to recognize, excuse me, uh, as well. Another great place to find products. Peerfly is another great one. Flex Offers is another great one. Advantage Affiliate Network is another high quality one that's reputable. And so is share a sale. Okay. So like I said, apply to all these, join them all. Don't just settle for these, but this is a great base. You can literally build an entire affiliate marketing business with content and YouTube just from these 10. Okay. So start here. These are the top affiliate networks for beginners.